Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back to the Film Insight channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss some of the most controversial Hell's Kitchen contestants. From being notorious to beaming with a sour attitude, Chef Ramsay has dealt with chefs of all kinds. Today, join us as we unravel one scandal after another. With each entry, the degree of drama will only get higher. Without further ado, let's get started with Jen Gavin. Hey, Jay, look at me. You're one f***ing cocky lady and someone knows jack shit, you know that? Yeah, sure. Jen Gavin was a contestant who debuted in the fourth season of the show, ranking in fourth place. She made a comeback again in the 18th season, where she placed 15th. Gavin, an executive chef, was known for her bad behavior on the show. Rather than motivating her teammates, she was always seen picking fights with them. She was never a team player. Seeing her behave was a rarity. In season four, her teammates disliked her from the very beginning. Even though she was talented, Gavin was mostly dishonest and almost always held grudges against her teammates. She also could not stop talking back to Chef Ramsay. Gavin tried to talk back on the eighth day of dinner service when Chef Ramsay criticized her dish, but it's not easy to win an argument with Chef Ramsay. He shut her down in his classic manner. I've had enough. I can't tell you anything anymore. I can't even give you any direction. Do you know why? You're undirectable because it's like... Mm. Tired of her behavior, Gavin's teammates could not keep up with her. So what was next? She was transferred to the blue team. Did she improve there or did she behave the same? Unfortunately, she was the same. She got into arguments with the blue team and soon everyone was fed up with her. Why don't you just sit your pan right there? Blue Ross, why don't you go ahead and add the rest of this flower? Chef Ramsay had to school Gavin several times. She seemed to be habitually disrespectful towards Ramsay. All of you story. No. You're lying. You're hey, all of you, come here. But how did Gavin survive elimination so many times? Her work was her saving grace, but will it save her every time? Surprisingly, she got a black jacket, but Chef Ramsay had had enough of her bad attitude and disrespectfulness. She was eliminated after the second black jacket dinner challenge. Knowing the history of Gavin, it was surprising to see her back in season 18. Was she the same Gavin we saw in season 4 or a changed one? Hate to break it, she was the same. This time, she showed absolutely no empathy towards her teammates. And when it comes to talking back to Chef Ramsay, things quickly escalated to the boiling point. That night, she not only argued with Chef Ramsay, but also with sous chef jockey. But what went wrong? Gavin sent out two underportioned leaks for duck entrees at one point, and when Chef Ramsay pointed it out, she argued that she sent enough and accused Chef Ramsay of sabotaging her. The accusation didn't sit well with Chef Ramsay. You yeah. lying, Chef. Yeah. You trying to sabotage me? Really? Right? Where? You set me Where? up. I'm steady bringing you. Who set you up? Gavin continued to accuse him until Chef Ramsay decided he'd had enough. She was unceremoniously eliminated from the competition right in the middle of the service. Get, get in there. Me. Hey, take your apron off and get out. Yeah, I will. Don't Front worry door. about it. Front door. The the After her departure, Chef Ramsay said, Jen accused me of sabotaging her. The truth is, the only thing that sabotaged Jen tonight was her cooking. Jen accused me of sabotaging her. The truth of the matter is, the only thing that sabotaged Jen tonight was her cooking. So if you thought answering back to Chef Ramsay was terrible, what the next chef did will leave you feeling shocked. We're talking about Joseph Tinelli. Hey dog, I ain't here for that. You want to you wanna talk some shit? Who can forget Tinelli? This guy became famous for the one thing he did on the show, pick a fight with Chef Ramsay. He is also widely known for his dialogue. I ain't no something that later went on to become a popular meme. I don't give up. Tinelli not only had a bad temperament, but he was also sexist and indisciplined. A contestant of season six, Tinelli uncovered his bad attitude at the very beginning. It was during the signature dish challenge when he showed his bad temperament. A little taste of me, please. You got a fork? You can buy that. You're a big boy. I'm not an animal. When Chef Ramsay asked to taste the vegetable he served with his dish, he asked for a fork as he didn't want to eat with bare hands. He even went on to say that he was not an animal, a statement that was uncalled for. Tinelli also showed how sexist he is when he made a foul toast to the girls who were punished with a cleaning job. He proudly said that the women were where they were supposed to be. 
If this wasn't enough, he ruined the atmosphere of his team during reward time. He disrespected Chef Ramsay and said that rewards and lunches were a waste of time. I didn't come here for lunches and all this, you know. That's not what I'm here for. Things went out of hand when Tinelli became very aggressive during the elimination round. When Chef Ramsay asked him to choose two of his teammates for the nominee, he answered that they could speak for themselves, as they already know who they are. Who's the first nominee for the men? They can speak for themselves, but they know who they are. When asked again, he chose Tony and Andy for no particular reason. The situation escalated when he started rambling his famous catchphrase, I ain't no bitch. Shortly after, he tossed his jacket off and aggressively lunged towards Chef Ramsay. That shit, dog. I ain't here for that. You want a f***ing jacket? You want to talk some shit? But before he managed to pack a punch, he was escorted away by security personnel. Phew, what an unexpected turn of events. Oh, wow. You want to get f***ing rough? Do you think I'm scared? Huh? Look at you. Yeah, you just blow your... Cameras. Yeah, the cameras. Yeah? Yeah. It was surprising for many of us to see an ex-Marine behaving this way. The controversy surrounding Tonelli had only begun. Many viewers speculated that Joseph Tonelli was but a marketing gimmick to increase the viewership of the show. Whether or not these rumors are true remains a mystery. Coming up next, Elise Harris. Once again, I made a statement. Why are you so offended about my statement? Elise Harris, a contestant in season nine, finished the show in third place. She returned in season 17 when she finished in seventh place. Harris was a rude, obnoxious, arrogant, selfish, and aggressive contestant. She believed that she was the best. That's a lot for one person, but her belief in superiority blinded her. But Harris barely used to do any work. She always played it cool and stayed away from punishments. She would never pick anything heavy and hardly lent a helping hand to anyone. Harris was also a big bully and often got into arguments with her teammates. No one else would step up and I did. Was I an individual? One time, Elise. Shut up. Shut up for five seconds. It was not that Chef Ramsay was not aware of her behavior. He knew how Harris wouldn't think twice before throwing her team members under the bus for her own mistakes. Even though she was nominated many times, she always survived. Harris could earn a black jacket too. However, she was eliminated at the last dinner service. After a brief hiatus, Harris was back in season 17. Many of us expected to see a different version of her, but nope. But back in the dorms. Guess who's back? Get used to this face. Your crying face? Old habits don't die soon. The new contestants almost instantly hated her as she pitched against. In season 9, Harris's mortal enemy was Carrie Keep, and in season 17, it was Robin Almaldivar. It used to always be super chaotic when they got into an argument. Inner service, way to bounce back after two challenges. Thank you, that's right, because I'm the bounce back queen. And I've been nothing but a team player since I stepped I foot in. Harris reached the final Black Jackets challenge in season 17, but this time she couldn't earn one as her dish was not up to mark. In truth, Harris was a talented chef, but because of her behavior and rotten attitude, she ruined her reputation. Sorry, but not sorry. We have to have this chef on our list today. Say hello to Hell's Kitchen's worst chef, Raj Branston. I see all this food and it looks delicious, so I just, you know, ate it. Raj, please don't do that. Branston, a personal chef, was a contestant in season eight of Hell's Kitchen. Branston was anything but a team player. He could not communicate well. He often found it hard to follow basic instructions. Although Branston firmly believed he was the best, his signature dish was the worst to be presented in Hell's Kitchen. This is a seafood and vegetable pancake. My God! Pancake? Yeah, it's a pancake. What? Does that look like a pancake? Branston sucked at pretty much everything he did. Whether it was cooking or waiting tables, he struggled at both. Whenever he was flustered, he would stick his head into the fridge to cool himself off. Branston's ego compelled him to make many mistakes, and eventually his teammates too lost faith in him. The truth is, I have no faith that he's going to be able to get the sides out. There was an occasion when Vincent Accardi, or Vinny, advised customers not to order sides because Branston was handling that station. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. If you guys order sides, you're going to be here till next Tuesday. Well, I have zero confidence that Raj is getting out. By the third dinner service, Branston's exit from the show was certain. While Chef Ramsay was turning down orders one after the other, Branston happily munched on a rejected fish order. That didn't sit well with either his teammates or Chef Ramsay. 
Have you got enough in there? But that's so good. It's really a waste. Wow. No, I mean, I just a quick little bite. It's really tasty. Oh. For the following service, Branston had prepared too many servings of Dover sole, which resulted in a shortage in the kitchen. Why would I try to fire three tables? Um, donkey. When Chef Ramsay asked him to brave up and explain the issue to the customers, he protested. He argued that his apron was too dirty to interact with the guests. Finally, sous chef Scott lost it and went up to the guests by himself. Get out there! I can't put this. I, I can't. I, sorry, sorry, I can't. Put it down and get out there! Despite the blue team winning the challenge, Chef Ramsay eliminated Branston for being a horrible performer. And finally, we have Jason Underwood. I'm doing anything about I'm, it. I'm you... doing. I'm trying something new. I'm going to put a little sugar and rub it around the rim and try to get that. Jason Underwood was a contestant in season four. Underwood undoubtedly was sexist, misogynist, self-centered, and arrogant. He never left a chance to belittle the red team. Underwood said that the only thing he'd lose to a woman during the dinner preparations would be an ironing competition. He implied that women are only good for household chores. I'll lose to a team of girls. The only thing I'm going to lose to a woman is like an ironing contest. Underwood abandoned his team during the first dinner service and headed out for a quick smoke break. It's not like the pompous guy was any better in the kitchen. He did awful in the signature dish challenge. What's he doing? Jason! 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 Can you get your ass down here, please? Yes, Chef. When Underwood eventually returned to the kitchen, he screwed up the appetizers. After Underwood's pathetic attempt at the traditional dish, Chef Ramsay was highly irritated. He even urged Underwood to eat one of his cooked risottos so he could understand how awful it was. But the man was far from owning his mistakes. Throughout his time on the show, he often belittles the famous contestants by referring to them as little kids. Once he said that a room full of girls was useless unless they hosted a Tupperware party. He never missed an opportunity to show his sexist side. When the men's team lost a challenge, he was surprised that the women could beat them. Okay, he just said we can get more if we need it, so don't sweat it. I don't think the girls have a clue what they're doing. But what do you expect without a man over there to lead them, of course? During the dinner service, Underwood screwed up big time. Getting assigned at the dessert station, he couldn't make one souffle right. Underwood was so pathetic during the service that he wanted to quit. What's happening with the desserts? The souffles are not coming out right at all. They're sticking. Come here a minute. Okay. I cannot get them to come up. They're, they're sticking really bad. They look like they look like muffins. Underwood was eliminated for being slow and for giving up before the service. So much for boasting about being a man. With that, unfortunately, we have reached the end of the video. What did you think about the contestants we covered today? Were any of them your favorites? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and share. Hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our future videos.